name's Taylor. I know I don't do videos on my blog very often, but I thought this one kind of warranted a vlog. Yes, you heard that right. So I'm gonna be doing vlogs because I am moving out. So I currently live with my family, with my parents, for those of you who don't know. I'm 25, which I think is late to be moving out, um, but a bunch of my friends still live at home, so I really honestly don't know when the typical age is to move out um, when you live in Edmonton. And so I'm moving out in 10 days on December 1st, and I thought I would document this whole experience because my blog is called When I'm Older, and this is a part of getting older, and so I thought that this might be something that some of you would like to see because I know that I would probably find this helpful. So yeah, I move out December 1st. Today is the start of the move out vlogs or the move in vlogs, depending on which way you look at it. If you're a glass half full or half empty kind of gal. Um, and so in a couple of minutes, I'm going to go to Ikea. And I've already been to Ikea a couple of times in the past couple of weeks, but I'm gonna do like the big shop. So like getting like plates and cutlery and like dishware and like shower curtains and all that stuff. I don't think I realized how much you have to buy when you move out for the first time. Like I was like, okay, bed, couch, coffee table, we're good. But no, there is so much. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to Ikea and try to see what I find there. I'm not buying everything at Ikea just because like Ikea is very like simple and basic. So I'm buying like the necessities at Ikea, I think. But I was thinking I would do like the first half of this in like a vlog format. And then the second half, maybe a haul to show you what I bought. So that'll be my first move out video or move in video. I need to decide a name. But yeah, I'm really excited. I hope that these aren't boring. Um, I think I'm gonna do a lot of videos. So I was thinking, because, oh, by the way, I have my Invisalign in, so if my like teeth look weird, it's because I have plastic on top of my teeth. Um, but I was thinking, I'm gonna be so lonely for the first little bit, like living alone, because I've never lived alone before. Um, and so I was thinking to help my loneliness, I'll do like a lot more videos, because then if I'm talking to myself, I don't feel like I'm alone. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd do like, kind of like first week of living alone, like how that feels and like, as I get more situated, um, I would do like recipe videos because I've really been liking cooking lately. Um, I'm definitely a newbie and I really like quick and easy recipes because um, with school and work and blogging, I'm just a little, a little busy at the moment. So yeah, I think there'll be a lot of videos to come hopefully. I'm gonna go to Ikea right now. I'll maybe film some of that. I don't know. I am not a YouTuber, guys. This is so out of my element. There's a reason that I usually just stick to blogging because I'm a much better writer than I am um, at making videos. But yeah, I'll um, show you what I end up buying. And then once my furniture starts to arrive and I start to decorate the place, I'll show you guys all that. I'm really nervous about how the place is gonna look once I get all the furniture in, I've never furnished an apartment before, clearly. And I honestly just kind of bought things that I thought would go together and I thought would be functional and I thought would be practical. I'm also trying to be very like budget conscious too. We are in the middle of a pandemic. So I've definitely tried to stick to a budget. So I'm not like going all out and buying like a $3,000 couch, even though I wish I could, but yeah. So, really excited. I'm gonna go to Ikea. Maybe you'll see some of that, maybe you won't, but the next thing you'll definitely see is what I bought at Ikea, which is so fun. I love Ikea. Okay, bye guys. So, I'm back. The Ikea haul was very successful, to say the least. I didn't think that it would be that quick. I spent Actually, not too much money. I bought a lot, like for it being at Ikea. Um, I definitely had a full carts full by the end, but it went really well. I'm really excited about everything I bought. My tips, if you're going to Ikea and like just buying like all the small things, like all the kitchen utensils, um, all that kind of stuff, definitely make a list before. So what I did is I went onto the website and I 
well first I made a list of like everything I would think that I would need um, like in my kitchen like all just all the little things and then I went on Ikea search for all those things compared the price and then um, looked at all the reviews because it's like yeah you can buy like a one dollar peeler from Ikea like vegetable peeler but if it's not a good peeler then it's like you might want to splurge and buy like a five dollar peeler from I don't know like Superstore I don't even know where you buy peelers um, so that's what I did let me show you the list now oh, that's a good angle so basically this was the list that I went into Ikea with and it had like the name of the thing and then the price everything that I wrote down on this piece of paper had good reviews so then I knew that like oh yeah like this pot's only like 10 bucks but it had really good reviews so it's okay to buy a really cheap pot um I also did stay on the cheap end for a lot of things because like things like you'll see in the haul but like a toilet brush I got like the cheapest one and sure it's not like pretty but also like it's a fucking toilet sorry I shouldn't swear <laughs> but also like it's a toilet brush so I got almost everything on the list there's a second page too the only thing that I didn't end up finding was measuring spoons and measuring cups they seem to be all out of those and those like bag clips what are those called like you know like when you have like a chip bag and you need to seal it with that little clip um, they were all sold out of those. Oh, and a chopping board. I did not like any of the chopping boards there. So I think I'm gonna go to HomeSense this weekend because I love HomeSense. So maybe if I do, I might put that haul on the end of this video. Maybe it'll be a separate video. I don't know, I'm just a YouTuber now, guys. This is, this is how it is. I'll probably put like what every item is called and the price. Um, maybe I'll link to it in the blog post. That would probably be handy, hey? Yeah, maybe I'll do that because I know like, if I'm just like saying the name, nobody's gonna know how to spell those Swedish words. So I wanna make it as easy as possible for all you guys um, who are moving out too to find all this stuff. Um, so yeah, here's the haul. Okay, so hopefully this angle works. What should I start with? I got so many things. I have it like just all on the floor of this room right now. Maybe we should start with like all the small things first. So. I put everything in this, well, this will soon be my trash can, but I put everything in here to carry it. So let's just go through. The first thing, it's a dish brush. Honestly, it's pretty simple. I just really like the color. You're gonna see a theme with this haul is that everything is like this like green, like minty beige color. It's so pretty. So yeah, just a dish brush to scrub um, dishes. And I was really against these because I thought that they like grow bacteria. I mean, I'll probably replace this pretty often. Um, but my dad said you can just put it through the dishwasher. And I was like, wow. I'm also really excited to have a dishwasher at my new place. Not that I don't have a dishwasher here, but it'll be fun to have a dishwasher. Then I got, just since I was there, this isn't really like a move in kind of object, but they're good to have, just plastic baggies. So I got the two sizes, um, the small little plastic baggies and then the big ones. And then I got a can opener. Looks pretty simple. This one had good reviews, so should be good. Then I got this set of just five like utensils. Um, it comes with like ladle, a noodle, like strainer, noodle strainer maybe, um, tongs. Just really simple, honestly. I don't think I'll use this stuff much. Um, I really just get by with a spatula, but I thought it'd be good to have in case I do. So yeah, they're just like a dark gray color, really simple. Then I got this cheese grater. This is like massive, it's the size of my face. But I think, if I'm seeing this correctly, is that like it's, this is like a dish inside. So when you're like grating like say cheese, it just all falls into the dish and then you can like dump it out from there. Ooh, this is actually exciting, cutlery. So I cute cutlery is so inexpensive. Like, I think this was $10 for like 20 pieces. Honestly, like, I was looking at all the cutlery and I don't understand, like, they're all stainless steel. But then like, Ikea's prices range from like $10 a set to like $100 a set. So like, I'm assuming like the more expensive ones are like either higher grade stainless steel or like thicker or just, I don't know. But I thought this was simple. Classic. I'm not really into the whole like funky utensil thing like how people get like rose gold um, or gold or like marble I just wanted plain and simple silver. So yeah, looks good. The next thing is scissors <laughs> My co-worker. She's so funny. She texted me 
um, like one night and she was like, Taylor, I, I've thought about what you need and you need scissors. Like that's the most important thing for moving into a place. And so I, oh, sorry, they were backwards, upside down. So I followed her advice and I got just like really simple scissors. Um, they'll be like kitchen scissors. I have like school scissors, but <laughs> got these ones, so whew. Oh, the next thing I got is a potato peeler. It was a dollar. It's like as basic as you can get. And then I got these shower rings. Um, I didn't buy my shower curtain at Ikea because it wasn't very cute. And I found one at another place that you'll see, I don't know when, um, that is super cute. But these are just like clear plastic rings. There is like those like silver, like metal shower rings that you can get um, for like 10 bucks, but these were a dollar and I, they do the job of being shower curtain ring. Ooh, the next thing I got is a strainer. I forgot the word for a second. <laughs> Just a strainer. Uh, yes, what I was talking about at the beginning of um, this segment is a toilet brush. It's just plastic. That's what it looks like. I'm sure it'll be great. Then I got more mugs. So I already have two of these, but I figured four would be a good amount to have like all matching. My mom thought I should get six. But six mugs just seems like a lot for one person. And like, even if I have friends over, how often is there gonna be six people in my apartment who all want like tea or coffee? I just feel like I'm not like adulty enough for that. So yeah, so I got two mugs. Now I have a set of four. Perfect. Then I got just a light bulb. Um, this is the E26 light bulb. It's a 60 watt one. Then I got batteries. I didn't know Ikea had batteries. I didn't buy these for a purpose, but I figured living on my own, there'll be days when I need batteries. So it'll be good if I just have them. Got double A and triple A and they're yellow. So like bonus points for that really. Then the last thing I got is this garbage can. It's pretty basic. I honestly don't know if this is meant to be a garbage can. I think it is, but this is just for like under my sink. It's like not too big. It's just that size. And then it has a top with like a flap. <laughs> this is so heavy. <laughs> so, oh my God, guys, I can't lift it. There, you can kind of see it. So these are <laughs> the plates that I ended up going with. So they're the same color as the mugs. Um, so it's a really pretty, like light green, like minty beige color. They're so pretty. It's a set of 18, so it comes with, why am I still carrying this? So it comes with six dinner plates, six like smaller plates. I don't know what those, side plates? Yeah, <laughs> six side plates and then six bowls. And then staying on that green trend, I got this, it's so cute. It's like a little pitcher, but it's a vacuum. What are these called? Like a vacuum pitcher? I don't know, but it's like um, sealed and it's like glass inside. So it's gonna keep like either hot drinks hot for really long or cold drinks cold for really long. And it's the same green color. So I thought it would match really nice. And um, I'll just keep like water in this. So yeah, I thought that'd be good. Then I'll show this first. It's just a tray for cutlery. It was only 99 cents. So if it doesn't fit, then I'm sure I'll find another use for it, honestly. Um, I just didn't want to like not get it and then have to make a whole nother trip to Ikea even though I'm sure I'll be going back to Ikea at some point. But yeah, just a cutlery tray. Super straightforward. Then I got a set of pots. I don't use pots very often. Like I feel like when I'm cooking I use like a lot of baking sheets. I use like a pan or like a skillet, a frying pan. But pots I really only use if I'm making soup or like beans. <laughs> I eat a lot of beans. Um, I'm trying to think what else I use pots. Oh, um, macaroni pasta, I use that. So anyway, I thought these pots would be fine. It's a set of three, so it comes with two little saucepans and then like a bigger pot, they're all nested inside. And then it comes with two lids too. So I thought that this would like do the job. The next thing is something I might return, but I wasn't sure. So it's just a knife set. And then it comes with a knife block there that like folds out and then that's what it's gonna look like. Um, but yeah, just three knives. It had good reviews, so we'll have to see. I like that it came with the knife block, but if I end up finding like different knives elsewhere, then I might return this, we will see. 
And then I'm so excited for these. They're so pretty. So these, it's a set of six glasses. And so they're like a really pretty glass. Um, they're mint. I got them to match like all my dinner plates and um, everything else that's green in this haul. Next, I just got two bed things. The first thing I got is just a mattress protector. Oops, backwards. It's waterproof. It looks like a good one. And then I got a duvet. Um, I really like IKEA duvets. Um, I think, do I have IKEA duvet on my bed right now? Maybe it's from somewhere else. But I have had IKEA duvets in the past and I really like them. So this is the one I ended up going with. It's the extra warm one. But yeah, duvet, exciting. Okay guys, we're nearing the end of the haul, don't you worry. This I'm really excited for. If you know me, this is so Taylor. It is a cheetah print welcome mat. Yes, you heard that right. Cheetah print welcome mat. The other welcome mat I got is just this one that's more to collect like all the dirt and snow and slush off of your boots. And it's just um, like gray and tan and black, pretty simple. But I thought it would like disguise any dirt. Cause you know, if you get like a black one, it just looks like really like gray over time and not cute. So I thought since this one's like printed and striped, it might disguise a bit better. And then it's like rubber on the bottom. So it'll do a good job. So I got this. It is a laundry rack. What would you call this? Like a drying rack. So it folds out and then you can just like dry your clothes on it. Um, but I like that it folds up so I can just have it like beside my washer and dryer until I need it and then pull it out and unfold it. So it will save room on space. And yeah, I do have a washer and dryer in my unit. I'm so excited to just have like my own washer and dryer. Oh, that's everything I got at Ikea. Honestly, I, I'm really happy with everything I got. There's just like a few little things, as I mentioned, that I need like the cutting board, measuring spoons. But other than that, this was a great start. I'm feeling much less stressed now that I have like these things out of the way. Obviously, I'm sure there's gonna be like a lot more things that I'll pick up gradually, like once I move in, like coasters and more knives and like I'll need like a bread knife, whisks, like all that kind of stuff, mixing bowls I'll need. Um, but this is kind of like just all like the real like necessities that I'll really need when I first move in. So yeah, I hope that that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any tips for moving, let me know. I'll definitely need those. Um, but I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.